Ladies and gentlemen, elections in India are all about optics and sops. We got vote today as the Mahavika Zagadi got its top leaders Uddhav Thakre, Rahul Gandhi and Sharad Pawar at Mumbai's BKC to unveil their manifesto. The opposition bloc is taking the fight straight to the key scheme that the Mahayuti is banking on. The Ladki Behen Yojana that gives 1500 rupees to over 1 crore women every month. Now, the ruling Mahayuti has already announced yesterday that they are increasing this amount to 2100. Now, the Mahavikas Agadi says they will take this amount up to 3000 rupees, which is double of what women in Maharashtra are getting right now. Also, in the Mahavikas Agadi manifesto, Free bus services for women across the state, 4,000 rupees to unemployed youth, a loan waiver of 3 lakh rupees for farmers, 25 lakh rupees health insurance for each family, and a caste census as promised. Mahalakshmi Yojana, 3,000 rupees, har mahila ke bank account me, har mahine. इंडिया गठबंधन की सरकार डालने जा रही है हर महीने बैंक अकाउंट में महाराष्ट्र की महिलाओं को तीन हजार रुपए सीधा खटा काट खटा काट खटा काट खटा खट नजर जाए But what's raising eyebrows is that there are once again fissures in the Mahayuti which are out in the open. Ajit Pawar has released his own manifesto tailored to his constituency. Interestingly, his manifesto mirrors Mahayuti's 10 promises with an added bonus for farmers. Now, this is a first where a prominent leader and party have launched their manifestos for each assembly constituency they are contesting. It's not just Ajit Pawar, other NCP candidates are also following suit by releasing their own constituency-specific manifestos. My guest this evening, Advocate uh, Sushil Vyas, spokesperson of the Shiva Sena, Shinde faction, Bridge Mohan Srivastav, spokesperson of the NCP, Ajit Pawar faction, Clyde Crasto is a national spokesperson of the NCP, and Chandrasekhar Jha is spokesperson of the Shiva Sena. I'm going to come to you, Mr. Chandrasekhar Jha, while you may criticize uh, the Mahavikas Agari and say they are not a united house, there are fissures given the fact that Ajit Pawar is now launching a manifesto of his own. The fact is that your own party, your own party led by Uddhav Thakre are going to be releasing a manifesto tomorrow. Now what's the point of releasing your party specific manifesto if you're fighting the election in alliance, in an alliance? So if fissures are fissures are you Uh, has been drafted already between the alliance partners and each specific poll bound constituency requires there uh. might be certain kind of uh, uh, advantages have to be given in a poll bound constituency. So in accordance with that, the party is deciding to release the manifesto of the party alone for the constituency, not for the purpose of the alliance partners. The alliance partners have already decided all the issues all the issues have been uh, mm. kept uh, with together and uh, it has been already declared on the stage. Now the thing is that if mm. the constituency requires certain more advantage, that advantage has to be given to the constituency. In accordance with that, the, uh, the party is issuing the manifesto uh, for the poll bound constituencies. Okay, uh, are your alliance partners on board with this, Clyde Cresto? For example, is the Sharad Parvat faction of the NCP okay uh, with Udhav Thakre going and releasing his own manifesto in every assembly in the state? What's the point of fighting an election together is the point. No, I don't think you got the point what, uh, you know, Chandrasekhar also was trying to explain to you. The point here is we have a joint manifesto mm. which was released today. 
And then what he's trying to say, which I agree with him, that in a particular mm -hmm. constituency, there may, mm -hmm. may be certain issues. So you have to cater to that issue and you have to work accordingly. So it's not that, you know, we, we are not on the mm -hmm. same page. We are on the same page. We've spoken to each mm -hmm. other. There's one central manifesto mm -hmm. and then there's an individual manifesto. And who, I mean, who's blaming even the Mahayuti people? But the point here is, have they released their manifesto together? That's also has to be looked into. So I think, you know, we have to come together on the same page, but work on individual candidate and constituency. Okay, so let's uh, let's speak about the uh, Mahavikas Agari's uh, manifesto that has just about been released. Advocate Sushil Vyas, as spokesperson of the Sh uh, Shiva Sena Shinde faction, as someone who is ruling uh, Maharashtra right now, what do you make of the opposition's manifesto? Uh, the fact is, it is taking the fight straight to your key pole plank, which is fifteen hundred rupees to a crore women in Maharashtra. You know, that is the scheme because of which many people say that the Maharashtra election was delayed because you wanted, uh, you know, more money to come into women's accounts. Now, the Mahavika Sagadi is saying they are giving you 1,500 rupees. We'll double it. We'll give you 3,000 rupees. Sriyaji, we are not surprised by the manifesto being released today by Mahavika Sagadi. But we are happy. That for last two and a half months, the, the day on which mm -hmm. we have announced this Ladki Ban, Ladka Bahu, they were criticizing us. We do not have enough fund resources. How we will give that, that we have a loan of 8 lakh, 8 lakh crore rupees? How we are giving this? Then the, my counter question to this if we can't give, how you will give? The question is that some welfare scheme which are required to be given, particularly uh -huh. under the directive principle of constitution under Article 38, we are uh -huh. duty-bound, party in power duty-bound to come out with the uh, welfare schemes and which we are doing. And exactly we have announced and we have implemented. Now they were criticizing from where uh -huh. we'll generate the money. Now how from they, where they will generate the money? Question is that. It means they have proven us right. Clyde, answer the question. Answer the question. You had criticized the Ladi yeah, Ben so, uh, Yojana saying yeah, yes, I, 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 I was aega. waiting. I now was just hoping you'd come to me. Question. You have doubled that amount. No, Paisa no, no. No, no. I'm very... I'm, I'm very happy, Shia, you asked me. I was just hoping you'd ask me this question. You know, we never, we never opposed the Ladi Ben Yojana. Let me tell you one thing, and I'll, I'll place huh. it in record in front of you. We never opposed the Ladi Ben Yojana, mm -hmm. but you went on to say that we will give more. And the question that we asked was, huh. Tell us how you're going to do it because as an opposition we want to ask a question that how you're going to manage it because we know how we are going to manage it. And we've never opposed it and we've always said that, you know, 1500 is less. When we come into government, we will give more. And that's what the promise that we've made today. We know where we're getting it from. No, no, Clyde, but the fact is that even the present government is managing. No? They are managing to give money. Uh, to the uh, two women in Maharashtra, fifteen hundred rupees yeah. per month. So they are also so managing that's, only. That's, so they, so, no, so they are managing. We will manage better. That's what we are saying. They are managing fifteen hundred. We'll manage three thousand rupees and we'll give three thousand rupees to the women of Maharashtra. We will manage it. Uh -huh. We have our logistic together. We have our finances together and understanding oh. together. We will do okay. it. Okay. Okay, uh, can I just bring in Bridge Mohan Srivastav, spokesperson of the NCP of the Ajit Pawar faction. Uh, sir, can I ask you, I mean, I think the point about these different manifestos has been clear, that these are manifestos which both sides are releasing, parties from both sides are re releasing for their own constituencies, uh, which, well, there may be a point to it. But Bridge Mohan Srivastav ji, it seems that the Vikas Agadi, with all the promises they have made today, including a caste census, including upping the 50% cap, including 4,000 rupees for unemployed people, including 2,100 rupees, uh, you know, for, of, for the elderly, etc. They, they seem to have trumped you as far as sops and promises are concerned, Srivastava ji. Itna to manenge? Manifesto to bada chamche maata wa diya hai aaj Mahavika Sagadi ne. Uh, no, total. <laughs> Mahavika Sagadi, they know that they are not coming in the power in Maharashtra. So they can declare anything, whatever they want. And they are declaring that thing also ah. because they have not studied the economical position of the Maharashtra. But we have not declared this. Uh, my government has not declared this thing 
in a uh, in a uh, one day we uh, before the elections there was in a great exercise mm -hmm. in the all di different departments of the maharashtra government and from that we uh, we uh, achieve the uh, data and then we plan how we will bring the money and how we how we will earn the income and how we will give this money to the uh, women or other needed uh, sector of the state so it is a big difference between us and the mahavikas agadi mahayuti has done is uh, our exercise before declaring the um, uh, this uh, uh, declarations whereas the um, mahavikas agadi has not done anything they are not having any information simply they are announcing and they are saying that they, they will do this thing and ah. they will do that thing and vyas ji has uh, rightly spoken previously these people were criticizing our decisions our policies our program and now those people are following uh, us on, only so it's very clear very loud and clear that mahavikas sagadi is not coming in the power so they can say anything but whereas the mahayuti because we are coming in the power uh -huh. so we, before oh. um, uh, declaration we have done our own work but mr shavas the fact is and it's a well known fact that ajit pawar the finance minister of maharashtra has walked out of a meeting in which the chief minister was in attendance because the chief minister was hell bent on introducing schemes or announcing schemes for which the state doesn't have money so where are you saying that you have all the money figured out i mean maybe you figure it out along the way but you certainly don't have the money right now i i just want to ask a general question i'm just going to move away uh, from what we are talking about actually it's all connected uh, chandrashekhar jha ji this is a larger question i'm asking you can indian elections not do without sops the ladki behan yojana 1500 rupees or 3000 rupees as is now being promised by you all is what many people will say you're trying to bribe the women voters in maharashtra say again the 4000 rupees uh, to young people who are unemployed instead of saying hum aapko naukri denge you are saying hum aapko 4000 rupees denge can indian elections not do without these sops which many people which many people will say is a bribe to the voter Uh, see uh, this uh, question pertaining to this question the matter is pending before the honorable supreme court whether this bbs constitute as a, a luring uh, hmm. advantage to the party towards public in an election or not so this issue has to be decided and this issue is subjudice but in any way in any manner if you see the constitution the directive principles allow a party to declare any kind of uh, gratitude or any kind of advantage to public which the public may not be having because of their uh, uh, because of their social uh, economic backwardness and all these things so considering all these factors a government okay. or a party can declare in its okay. manifesto and can allow this to go to the public but sudden, uh, certainly no. this matter has to be decided by the honorable supreme court whether this is a freebie whether this is a leo whether Clyde. this is a deceit to the Clyde, public the matter may need to be decided by the supreme court okay yes i want to go theek hai theek hai i i get the point you're making i just need quick reactions from other people on this panel as well clyde i understand welfare schemes i understand a 25 lakh rupee health insurance for every family in maharashtra i understand that i understand it's a welfare scheme but what about 3000 rupees to women across the state why it's a bribe because you want women to vote for the mahavikas agadi no it's not no why so that means you are trying to say when they, that means are you trying to say very clearly on air that the ladki ban yojana is a bribe hmm. is that what you're trying to say hmm. why should the women not be given that means if you're saying this course, that means according to you the ladki ban yojana is a bribe of course why is like this device so let the mahayuti accept it it's first a point that they're giving of view, a bribe right no absolutely no why why should it be a bribe no, they no. can they no, it's, it's my point of view why will they accept the or not accept the women uh, unemployment doles no no so no the point here is the why should how we give welfare? welfare schemes to women how is giving and i think across all welfare. parties everybody will agree with me that we should give welfare schemes to women why is it not welfare uh, why not 
why not the, the we are helping the women because there are a lot of women who cannot go out to work and we are helping them out Un unemployment dole you're talking about you know instead of giving the employment we are we are promising employment also once those youth get employment they won't get the 4000 rupees it's as clear as that hmm. So that's the whole point, to help them while they're working mm -hmm. on trying to get some work. Okay. So she'll that period that is there, the transition mm -hmm. period, that's the period when they'll get those 4,000 rupees. Yeah. So she'll be asked, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to put your point forward on whether Indian elections DNA is now SOPS. And every party is guilty of it, including yours. Sreyaji, first of all, this Ladki Ban Yojana, as announced and it now right now in force in Maharashtra, is not applicable to all women of Maharashtra in general. They are to a particular economically backward or uh, classes only. So those who are having two and a half lakh rupees per annum income, they are only eligible. It's not that all uh, women are eligible to get that benefit. So that is a welfare scheme in that way. And that so, so Constitution of India under Article 38, direct, as a directive principle, provides that if there is an inequality on the basis of economy and financial, like to bring okay. them at par, we can provide such, such thing, such help. And that's why these, these kind of schemes are there. It's not that each and every woman in the Maharashtra is getting this. Those who are financially backward, they are to support them, empowerment. Oh, over one third of women are getting it, are right? given that. Yeah. So that's why we are giving it. It's not that everybody is getting it. So Okay. You know, this is a way. debate. And secondly, what Chandra Okay, came? this is a debate. And yeah. I'll say this, that on this panel, there is at least one thing everyone agrees on except me. Right? All of you are saying uh, that giving money into people's bank accounts is is not a bribe it's not a sop it's a welfare measure all four of you interestingly seem to believe the same thing i don't we leave it there for the moment thank you very much uh, the election is on november 20th so we'll i'm sure have multiple conversations before that thank you sushil vyas for speaking to us bridge bhavan shivastav dhanyawad thank you clyde good to have you on the show and chandrashekar jha thank you very much as well ladies and gentlemen with that it's a wrap from me thanks for watching